Hello, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be making the combustion engine, and we're going to be making the teleport pipes. So let's get to it. Okay, so let's make the combustion engine. So all we need to do is make a couple of pistons first. So we'll just make a few of those. I'm going to make um, five combustion engines, I think. So we'll need five pistons. Uh, just do that. Redstone at the bottom and iron just there. So that's five of those. And then for the combustion engine itself. So piston goes at the bottom. You're going to need iron gears and then glass and then iron at the top. And there's the combustion engine. The combustion engines do like to explode quite a bit. You've got to make sure that they are supplied with an adequate amount of water. So my nearest water supply is just over there in that river. That's probably the best place. These little pools are no good really. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the water from the river via a teleport pipe and probably store it here just from fear of the chunk unloading. It shouldn't because we're not too far away. But if it did, uh, it could be quite catastrophic. So we'll store the water up here. So let's make the teleport pipe. So all we need to do is make gears. So we just need to make two wooden ones. And then we need to make two stone ones. And then we need to make two iron ones. Sorry if you've seen this a million times already. Um, and then gold. And then diamond. Okay, now with the two diamond gears, you need to put one here and one here, then put a glass in between them, and there it is. So what we need to do with this now is we need to waterproof it. So we just need to take some cactus green, make some pipe waterproof, enough for all of it, so eight pieces, and then just put that there, the pipe waterproof above it, and that'll waterproof it all for us. So there you go, waterproof teleport pipe. So I'm down by the river now. I've just removed my pump from the old oil well, um, I'm going to reuse that. If you don't know how to make the pump, it was in part 11. Um, so we're just going to set that up. So we'll start just by putting a bit of cobble out. I mean, this isn't the ideal place to build a pump. Ideally, you'd want to put it in the sea, but I'm so far away from the sea, um, the chunk will almost certainly unload. So it's there's no point in doing that. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. Um, I've not put a pump in a river before, so I don't know how well it'll supply water. It certainly will supply water, but for how long I'm not sure, and will it drain the river? Well, we just have to wait and find out, really. So, we'll put the pump right there. And then we'll get rid of that. We'll just put the redstone engines around it, just the same as the oil well. So one there, one there, one there, and one there have to put something on the end of each of these bits so we've got somewhere to mount a lever. So just a bit of cobble will be fine. But there are more um, aesthetically pleasing things you can put on the end of it, but I don't really care. Uh, so we'll just get rid of that for now. Okay, cool. So we can take the teleport pipe and just pop it on the top. And then what we'll do, just right click on it. And you can set the frequency. Now, don't be intimidated by this. This is actually really simple. Um, so this is the current frequency, which is zero. Um, so we need to set it to one. I mean, all these do is just change the frequency. So you could have 101 if you wanted, um, or whatever. So we'll just go with one. Um, and then this is just can receive, which is false, which is what we want it on. If we wanted it to receive stuff, we put it to true. But this is just sending water, so that'll be fine. Before I head back over, I will just stick some levers on it. So, just the same way as the oil. They just go like that. And uh, we'll turn them on as well, just to get it going. Right, let's head over. So we're ready to fit this combustion engine now. We're going to fit it to the oil refinery, so that it speeds it up a bit. Um, I've actually turned the electrical engine off now, because it uses a horrendous amount of electricity and it's pretty useless. I mean, that was running for, for ages and ages. But uh, never mind. Let's get this one hooked up. 
So I'm going to put it on the top, I think. So just have to make a bit of a, a bit of a connection to it, and then right-click the combustion engine down. I'll just tidy that little bit up. So get rid of those. Uh, keep the block on top, so we've got somewhere to put the switch. So we just stick that there. Get that brick back. Okay, now we're going to connect the water to it. So I'm going to do all of this piping with the smooth stone. Uh, so we just put the wooden down first, wooden waterproof pipe, and a redstone engine. And that will obviously need a lever right there. And then we'll use the smooth stone. So we're going to go connect into that side. Okay, right, so we go up like that, around this redstone engine. And then we're going to connect right here. So that will be the water connected. In fact, we can fire that one up now. Make sure that it's drawing water through. It should all work. I see no reason why it wouldn't. Okay, so there we go. That will start filling it up. So now we just hook up the fuel to the combustion engine. So we'll put down a wooden pipe and a redstone engine again. Put down a lever for that one. And then we'll do it with we'll do it with the cobblestone pipe, I think. Should work best, I think, just due to the array of pipes we've got around here. Uh, put another one there, we'll go up. Go across, get around all my crap. And yeah, and then we'll run it alongside this one. And then straight in the back. There. Okay, cool. So now we've got the fuel connected. Just fire that one up. That'll start pumping the fuel out. And that should go straight into the engine. So once that's filled up, um, we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so this combustion engine is all ready to go now. Full of fuel, full of water. All we need to do is flick the switch. And away it goes. And immediately fuel starts piping out. So that's pretty good. Um, the good thing about these combustion engines is you can use them to power all sorts of different build craft machines. So, for example, the quarry. All you'd have to do is take the electrical engine off and put one of the combustion engines on. And uh, that would power it. It'd also save you a lot of power. And you could just use fuel instead. So pretty good, really. So that's it for this video. If you have anything that you'd like to request, just put it in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.